Hey kids, welcome to a lesson four, controlling memory with variables, create and assign at once. It is so common to want to create a variable and give it an initial value that JavaScript has a shortcut that lets you create and assign with one line of code like this. Isn't that nice? This has our variable and whatever our variable name is equal to and then a number. You also see a new block in the toolbox for this down below. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Do this. We'll quickly practice using this form of variable creation and assignment. The code you will write will achieve the same thing as a previous level in fewer lines of code, and that's really important. You have noticed from your last couple of lessons, they keep getting more and more complex, and we'll have more and more lines of code. We're gonna create a variable called lives and assign it the value of three using the new one-line version of this command. We're going to add a console.log statement to display the value of lives just as before. And we have an example of what it should look like. The value to score is zero. The value of lives is three. So we have two things down there. Hmm. Let's look at our code here. So we have the, the variable score is zero. Console.log will say the value of the score is, and then console log will look up here. I'm gonna guess if I hit run, I should get the number zero down in my debug console. Let's go ahead and hit run. And the value is zero. Same as the value here, zero. So the first part is pretty good, but they want us to also add a second part that says the value of the lives is three. Since this is displaying pretty close to what I want, I'm just gonna go up here, copy, and then come over here and paste. I'm gonna go down two lines. I'm gonna do some comments just to get in the habit of it. And this is part one. And the second one is a part two. So I don't get these two confused. The variable for this one should be three. So I'm gonna put three where the zero is for the second one. And it's not the value of the score, it's the value of the lives for this one. So I'm gonna use the word lives in there. At this point, when my variable score zero will say the value of score is zero, and the second part should say the value of the lives is three, and it should all print out down here. Let's reset, run. The value of the score is zero, the value of lives is three. So that's exactly what I wanted to say. If I look down at my example, those match up pretty close. Nothing else I think I have to do here. That's it for this lesson. Let's see if code.org wants anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.